for one hour, nor they will be able to advance it. To whom, to whosoever nation Allah sent a messenger, if time was fixed, till that time they are free, whether they accept or not accept, whether they believe or not believe. Till this, that fixed hour comes, neither the punishment can come before that. Even if the Prophet wants that they should be punished now, enough is enough. They have denied me, they have refuted me. No, it's not on your authority. We have read last night. Had it been in my power, then you know the settle, the, the matter between you and me would have been settled long ago. So that is the, the I and it's here again. Neither it can be delayed for an hour, nor it can be brought earlier. Now these ayat are just like the concluding ayat of the fourth section of Surah Al-Baqarah. O children of Adam, whenever messengers will come to you from me, the Qusuna alaykum ayati, relating to you and narrating to you and reciting unto you my revelations. From an ittaqa, so whosoever will fear Allah, will have taqwa of Allah, will have proper regard for Allah, will have the consciousness of Allah, waslaha, and mend his ways and rectifies his his behavior. فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَعْزَنُونَ So there will be no fear upon them, nor they will grieve. وَالَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا As for those who will deny our revelations, who will belie them, وَاسْتَقْبَرُوا عَنْهَا And turn away their faces from that due to arrogance and haughtiness. أُولَائِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ They will be the people of fire, هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And they will remain it forever, forever. فَمَنْ أَزْلَمُ مِمَّنْ اِفْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ قَذِبًا أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِهِ So this subject has been repeated many times. Who is more evil doer than the one who concocts something and some false thing and then attributes it to Allah? أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِهِ And in the same way, who can be more evil doer than that, that person who belies his revelation? أُولَائِكَ يَنَالُهُمْ نَصِيبُهُمْ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ they will have their portion which has been ordained for them. In this world till they remain, they will be eating, they will be drinking, they will have money, they will have all the comforts. This is which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already written for them in their taqdeer. It is the destiny. They will partake from it. أُولَائِكَ يَنَالُهُمْ نَصِيبُهُمْ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ حَتَّى إِذَا جَاتْهُمْ رُسُلُنَا So when then our messenger will come to them, our messengers, and here it means, the angels of death, yetawafawnahum, and they will take possession of their souls. Qalu ayna ma kuntum tadruna min duni Allah. They will say, where are those whom you were praying and calling besides Allah? Where are your associate gods? Qalu dhallu anna. They will say, they have vanished away from us. They have gone with the wind. They have just vanished. Wa shahidu ala anfusim. And they will testify against their own selves. أَلَّهُمْ كَانُوا كَافِرِينَ That they were the unbelievers. اللهم ربنا لا تجعلنا منهم O our Lord, don't include us in those people. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم. الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith